Uh, hey folks, may the force be with you. I'm John Morton from The Empire Strikes Back. I was Bespin Boba. I'm the guy that said Darth Vader, he's no good to be dead. You may take Captain Solo to Jabba the Hutt after I have Skywalker. He's no good to me dead. I lived. And then I was also Dak with uh, Luke Skywalker as his backseater, saying, um, right now I feel like I can take on the Empire all by myself. Right now I feel like I can take on the whole Empire myself. I know what you mean. Now, hey, listen. That's right in line with being Geek Strong, right? And uh, I want you all to support Geek Strong. We're building community. We're getting strong. Um, we're into our toys and collecting and all the good stuff that people do to uh, express themselves. So I encourage everybody uh, to walk in the way and be Geek Strong. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Chung. It is day two for the New England Toy and Record Super Show. So I am super excited to go in. I will show you just a few items that are new. I'll show you all my pickups. What do you say? Let's do this. Day two. The New England Toy and Record Super Show. Go inside. Check that out, goosebumps. So this is an amazing booth, Toys of Yesterday. So if you guys are interested in any items that they get, that they have now or in the future, here's a way to find them. Hey everyone, welcome to the New England Toy and Record Show. Uh, I'm Elizabeth, I'm here with Toys and Collectibles for Life. We have a Facebook page, you can come visit our Facebook page. We do toy auctions every week. We also have Lucas Adamitis from Toys of Yesterday. And then if you like any of the turtles behind me, we have East Coast Toys. You can find them on Instagram. Uh, he's also on Facebook and does live sales. Um, I'm Nikki Patello and I go <laughs> Eric Walker, take one. Hi, I'm Eric Walker, the original Mace, Star Wars first Mace. And the West Coast is the best coast. It's the left coast. It's left coast, sorry. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> so I'm over here at Spruch's table. You remember Spruch from yesterday? Spruch Retro Toy Hunter. But look at he has a John Connor on bike. And a couple of 18 bad guys here. And these are definite possibilities. Let me show you that one right there. And he has one of the Brave Star figures? Yeah, I think I have that one. Okay. Somewhere. I don't know. I put it back in here. But look at all the bends you get to go through. Look at Rambo with the rocket launcher, which I need. Dang, I got this yesterday. Had everything but the rocket launcher. And I think I paid a little bit more than what Spruch is asking. So my bad. I should have looked at Spruch first. But still super cool. Make sure you come and buy the toys from the toy man. <laughs> Scrooge Retro Hunting. And look at that, it's a Silverhawks figure. That's right, Stargazer. Nice. nice. Small fee of $10. Wow, $10, man. Great, awesome. Thanks, bro. You got it. So check this out. I'm still at Spruce's table, but look what I see here. I didn't even notice it before, but it is Hulk Hogan, World Heavyweight Champion. It is the Foam Finger. Now, if you watch Toy Federation, just yesterday I watched the video. They have a new video where they show this and they have a graded one, but they're asking a ton of money. At least that's what they had to purchase it for. But right over here at Spruce, just 200 bucks right there. Perfect. That is an awesome piece of wrestling history. Awesome. So I'm at another booth right now, but check this out. Look at Movie Maniacs. Look at that. Remember when they made Movie Maniacs with these bases? I didn't know they made... Did they make a Shaft one? No Still way. the man? Shaft? No way. I know they made Candyman 3, but they made Shaft? Movie Maniac? That's crazy. What did somebody put... Now, that looks legit. That's awesome. Okay, Eric Walker, take two. Which coast? Hi, I'm Eric Walker, Star Wars first mace. And the left coast is the best coast. Left Coast Graphics, enamel pens, patches, stickers, posters, collect them all before they're all gone. 
Check out these cool bases. We have the Mummy and Frankenstein. Those are pretty cool. That'd be great for like a NECA figure or something. What do you think? That's awesome. I'm trying to find the Wolfman and Dracula. I could put my Remco figures on that. Hey guys, look who's here. Yes. And before I forget, I've got to say, we are all geek strong. It looks great. So Victor's interested in gargoyles. Look at that. Nice, Demona. Check out Street Sharks Puppet, 85 bucks. Look at cops. 50 bucks for Star Wars Wonder Bread. So check out these amazing photos here that Kurt created. I'll give you his information in a second, but look at how fun this stuff is. Super cool. All these are stickers. Here is his prices. And you want to give a shout out and let Big people shout. know? Oh uh, yeah, my name is Kurt Dottazzi. I sell the best stickers in town. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Kurt Dottazzi, and you can follow me over at my uh, store over at uh, the Etsy, Tazzi's Art Studio. Awesome. Thanks, man. Anytime. Hello there, my friends. My name is Rory Ross. I play the Mandalorian Corporate Commander in Mandalorian Season 3. I am the Tuscan Raider Elder in Book of Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper in Kenobi. And I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us. Be always geek strong! So here is Rory. He played in the Obi-Wan series, Book of Boba Fett, and the Mandalorian. And if you're looking for him in the series, there he is as a Tuscan warrior or raider here he is as a stormtrooper in the obi-wan series so there he is right there so check out his helmet if you want to try to pick him out of the crowd and if you're watching the mandalorian you can pick him out of the crowd because he is a covert commander and he's wearing the pauldron right there really cool awesome so victor victor diaz did you miss this i know you're here at the show Look at that, the queen on card. And this card is actually better than mine. 20 bucks? What? That is a steal. And it looks like we have Ripley here too. What? That is insane. We have some more Kenner aliens in here. There is the Gorilla 15. These cards are so nice. There's Bishop. I'm going to dig through these, man. That is super cool. And look at... Star Trek figures, so John, I don't know, are they going to go up in value? Maybe not, maybe so. Awesome. Hey, check this out, I was just checking it in a bin, but look at this, Ertl Air and Space. This is a Lunar Rover with stand. That's pretty fun, never seen that before. Ertl. There's the back, not really sure what year this is from. But pretty cool. What's going on, everybody? It's Danny Romero from The Mandalorian Season 3. I just want to let you guys all know that I appreciate all your support. Make sure you guys check out the show and all the other shows that Disney has coming to you guys. I'll see you soon. And we are Geek Strong. Nice. We are Geek Strong. You gotta do the flex, man. Oh, my bad. You gotta do it again. Okay. Get over here. And we are Geek Strong. Geek Strong. Yeah. So check out, so if you're watching The Mandalorian Season 3, and if you want to know where Daniel is, check it out. So he has a scarf around his neck. Right there. Right there. Look at that. So that's what I love about things like this, because you can pick him out of a crowd or out of the scene of a movie. And look at, and there he is with Rory. So there is Daniel, and there's Rory right there. That is pretty cool. So right there. Awesome. Star Wars mini rig. Eric Walker, take two. Hi, I'm Eric Walker, and we're all geek strong. All right, hold on, wait. 60 bucks, look at that. 60 bucks for all those. Victor scored, man. Look at that. Victor, right there. Score. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Check this out. BC Bikers. Never seen this before. What's this from? Anybody know? Pretty cool. And look at it's grandma for dinosaurs. Look at that, Beetleborgs. 
Dick Tracy, look at that lack. I'm not sure who this one is. Maybe Mumbles? That's what Victor says, Mumbles. But if he's wrong, put it in the comments and uh, let him know. Okay. Hey, <laughs> East Coast is the best coast? Left Coast. Hello, I'm Warren from Junior from several Disney Plus Star Wars shows, and we are Geek Strong. Uh, so, if you're curious which one Warren is in the Ahsoka series, check out the mask. You will find them. Check out those pillow people, California raisins. Hi, my name is Howie Weed. I was the Wampa in the Empire Strikes Back Special Edition, and I was Vigo the Carpathian in Ghostbusters 2. I just want to say we are all geek strong. These figures are pretty cool. 1930s. 1930s. Wow, lead soldiers, right? Look at that, 1930s. Well, what's the company name? Minolta. Wow. Those are pretty fun, huh? Awesome. Look at that guy. Coast is the best coast. For graphics, that is. <laughs> Check out this toy over here. So we see the Rod Runner race set. But look at that, the spinning wheel. That's an actual toy, the little red spinning wheel. For girls, it's great, it says. And that is by Remco. Wow, that's pretty fun. Hey, look at that right there. Who is this guy? That guy's pretty cool. I like the, they finish business. Yeah. Then you just make That's cool. And check it out. Brave Star right here. 20 bucks for this guy. I'm going to hold out to find one with a hat, but that's a cool, cool figure. All right, we have Jared hiding out there. So there's Jared. He just picked up. What'd you get? Mojo, right? You got Mojo the figure. Look at that. So that's Jared's pickup. We have Jordan. Jordan got some good stuff too. You got a, an autograph and some other items. Here we have Sully and Victor. Look at Sully scored this Rancor vintage collection. And that is cool. And look at that autograph signed by Gamorrean Guard. But look at that. So we have Leia, Jabba. Super cool set. It's going to go great in her collection. And look at Jordan's got autograph by Howie. And this awesome Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. McFarlane Movie Maniacs. Super cool, they had a great time. Do you guys have fun? Yeah, yeah, always. Again, last year we had a blast, and look at Victor scored <laughs> all those. You saw that in a video earlier. Victor scored 60 bucks for how many are there? 60 of them? I mean, six of them? Four, and I got five. Five carded alien figures for 60 bucks, man. That's a, that's a, that's a steal. Not bad. That's awesome. He also scored this Power Rangers for all you Power Rangers lovers out there. And who doesn't love a good Power Ranger? Go, go, Power Rangers. I'm working on my nice. poses. The Dino Ultra Zord. This thing is awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. Hey, Gonk, did you have a good time at the show? I did too. Thanks, guys. All right, it's pickup time. Before I show you my pickups from the show, let me show you a few items that I picked up online. If you've been watching my channel, you know I've been collecting crash test dummies. And here we have the 1991 red car. Yes, finally got a car in my collection. I took Amber's advice and picked up the red car. But yeah, this is super cool and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. Awesome. The next item I'm going to show you, I picked up online. And I got to blame Caveman Toys and Collectibles for this one. He recently picked up a nice minty with a box and he posted it on Instagram and Facebook fast forward a few days I pick up the movie from 1982 the creep show steelbook 4k and guess what's in the movie this toy check it out
from 1979 by Mattel. It is Crusher. Check this thing out. So this was in the movie right next to Shogun Godzilla. I could almost complete that shelf. All I need is the large Incredible Hulk by Mego. And I can complete that scene. But look at this. So I believe this goes with like Stretch Armstrong. So what you do is you squeeze all the air out of them. And then you turn that valve and it locks the air out. And then when you release it, all the air gets pumped back in. <laughs> kind of a strange gimmick, but a super cool toy. The rest of the items I'm going to show you are from the show. Here we have from 1990 Hasbro. We have Bucky O'Hare, Toad Air Marshall. And Bruiser the Berserker. I've definitely been wanting to get a few Bucky O'Hare figures in my collection. And for $5 each, I think these guys are pretty cool. From 1983, we have Apollo Creed by Phoenix Toys. His arms are a little discolored. His shorts are in rough shape. And he's missing his boxing gloves. But it's Apollo Creed. Happy to have him in my collection. I do have a club of laying. I just need to find myself a Rocky Balboa figure now. From 1986, Filmation's Brave Star by Mattel. Here we have Marshall Brave Star with his quick draw action. I had all these figures back in the day. This guy is super cool. I did pick this one up from Toys of Yesterday. He gave me a great deal. Look at the paint. The condition on this Marshall Brave Star is fantastic. He comes with both of his weapons. He also comes with that Orange piece, is that like their money? I can't remember what that was. I never actually watched the cartoon, but here we have Handlebar. He is the bartender. This guy is super cool. He is missing his disc, and I will be searching for the disc, but overall, these two are fantastic. From 1990, the Walt Disney Company distributed exclusively in Canada. Here we have a Dick tracy watch this thing is super cool it's kind of like a gift to and from so it's like almost like a a card that you would give somebody and it comes with a gift but look at the dick tracy image looks just like warren Beatty there i love it box is fantastic and this is new old stock love it look at the watch the watch is super cool from the Star Wars Saga Collection, here we have Nabum Leeds and Cabe. These guys are Cantina Aliens. I do have the white version of Nabum Leeds. He's wearing a white outfit. He came in a three-pack. I've never seen the silver, so I had to have it in my collection. And look at the back. They also have a few more characters. They came on a single card, and the paint scheme is different, so I'm definitely going to have to get them. I purchased this from Seller Across the Galaxy Collectibles. Check them out. The next items I purchased are from an awesome seller and his wife. You do remember his wife. She is the pink Power Ranger right here. Go, go, Power Rangers. I'm working on my nice. poses. <laughs> here we have the Ninja Hatchy Man. Actually, I don't care about that guy. He came free with the Thunder Tank. But here we have the 1985 Thundercats Thunder Tank by LJN. I've been wanting to get this in my collection for quite a long time this thing is super cool it does have its action feature works great the only thing it's missing is its treads the paw doesn't go up all the way when it does the action feature so vintage toy rush dave if you know a way i can fix that let me know i would love to take this apart and have that paw working but overall i think it's fantastic it's missing its treads like i said so let me know if you know of anybody that can 3D print treads for this to help me complete it and make it look fantastic for display. But it still looks good without the treads. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Are you looking for a Thunder Tank? This is the first figure I picked up from this line. Definitely going to get a few more and possibly a vehicle. But this is 1986 Steel Monsters by Tonka. And that's Wheel Boss. Here we are from 1981, the Dukes of Hazard watches by Unisonic. The seller was asking $15 a piece. Couldn't pass that up. $15 a piece or three items for 40 bucks. That is under $15. What's that, like 13 something a piece? That's a pretty decent deal. I love the box art. This one looks like it plays music, which is pretty cool. I might have to put some batteries and check that one out. But let's check out this watch. Open it up. I love the box art. And look at that Bowen Luke Duke with the 
generally there. This is a plastic watch, probably a kid's watch, right? I love that image right there. So generally awesome. So let me know in the comments, do you think this is a pretty fun pickup or is it something you would pass on? Because I think for under $15 a piece for these watches, it's pretty fun. This one is a pretty fancy case. Look at that plastic case. So this is probably an adult watch, right? We'll check it out. Nothing on the bottom, but look at that. That is a pretty fancy watch. Kind of looks small. I'm not sure if it would fit an adult, actually, but maybe it would. Wouldn't mind checking some batteries and listen to the sound. I wonder what the sound is. Is it like the, the horn of the General Lee? I'd have to check it out sometime, but overall, cool. So the third item I got is this ET, or is it extra terrific? This is a necklace. This is a knockoff, ET knockoff item. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize it at first that it was a knockoff, but it says he's back, extra terrific, and it is. Here's a mini grail from 1975 by Mego. It is the comic action heroes Wonder Woman. I remember having all these figures, my brother and I, I said probably my brothers actually. He was a little bit older than me and he collected a lot of the DC and Marvel figures. I do remember the Wonder Woman. I do remember the Hulk. I remember we had the Invisible Jet, which is pretty cool. But Wonder Woman, I've always wanted to get in my collection. And to find it on card at a toy show locally to me, that's pretty impressive. So I'm really happy to have this. This is a pretty cool figure from 1975. I mean, her outfit is actually a separate piece because it's like made out of rubber. And instead of it being painted on, it's actually a separate piece. So the shorts and the top are a separate piece. You would think that to save money, they would have just painted it on, but no. I mean, they couldn't even paint her face, but they gave her a rubber outfit. Super cool item. I'm glad to have it. The next three items I purchased from Caveman Toys. So thank you, Caveman. Here we have Biker Mice from Mars. This is Throttle by Galoob, and this is from 1993. Awesome. From 1979, here we have Migos Star Trek Scotty. Glad to have Scotty in my collection. Finally have the 1985 Rambo figure, The Freedom of the Force by Coleco. I do have a bunch of the other figures, but to get Rambo in my collection, finally, I am super happy to have that. So thank you, Caveman. Love it. Finally, I get Michael Jackson in my collection. I've been wanting this doll for quite a long time. To find one in the box in this decent condition by LJN. This is 1985. Michael Jackson in his Grammy Awards outfit. Yes, I'd rather have the Thriller outfit, but I think the Grammy Awards looks fantastic. He comes with his glitter glove. He comes with the microphone. Look at those gold pants. Blue shirt. Shades. Pretty cool. Okay, here I am at the show. I see this box of Willow figures. These are from 1988 by Tonka. I see this box and it says $7 a piece and I see right in the front, there is Willow. I've always wanted to get Willow from this line. I wasn't looking for all the other figures, but the guy was asking $7 a piece. He said he would do $5 a piece if I bought the whole box still didn't want to pay that much money he offered me he said 40 bucks you can have every single one of these figures and I don't know I just couldn't pass up that offer I love the cards look at these cards look so cool the back of the package look at that image these are pretty cool and what's kind of funny is one of them is actually unpunched can you believe that? From 1988, an unpunched figure from Willow. I mean, I know it's not a huge popular line, but to find an unpunched figure, and here it is right here, unpunched. That is pretty cool. So there's 12 figures here. 11, 11 I purchased from this seller. And this one here, I purchased from another seller because that figure wasn't in the box. And... 
I kind of now want to complete the set. I mean, for the price, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know, what would you do? Okay, I blame this purchase on Vintage Toy Rush Dave. Dave, you have such an amazing collection of over-the-top figures. Sure, it's not the smaller version. This is a 16-inch Lincoln Hawk from 1986 from Luco Toys, I do believe it is. But over the top, I absolutely love it. The next two items are from YouTuber Sprooch. Give them a follow. From 1991, Terminator 2. Here we have John Connor on bike. I've been wanting to get this figure for quite a while. I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger earlier, but here he is. So the next item is from Sprooch also, and I'm going to show you a before and after picture. So here he is from 1978, Luke Skywalker, all dirty and nasty. But look at a nice cleaning, and there he is. Look at how I just washed him in the tub, and that shirt came out perfect. I didn't have to use OxyClean or anything, just a little bit of soap and water. And he looks great. And guess how much Sprooch was asking? Ten bucks. Ten bucks for a 1978 Luke Skywalker. That's a good deal. The next few items are from Nick's comic strip. You might remember Nick from the previous video. He was the one showing me the Necker large alien. Nick had some great items. And this is one of them. I absolutely love Burger King. I love McDonald's toys and stuff like that. So to find Burger King and the box. And look at it. It's from Knickerbocker. Now, Knickerbocker makes some great toys. Definitely made some cool Lord of the Rings figures. I definitely want to get a Gollum. But look at this Burger King. Pretty cool. He comes with a pocket so you can hide the magic tricks in there. He does come with a bag with a scarf. So he is complete. Pretty cool figure. Pretty great condition. He comes with a magic trick. Check this out. Want to see some magic? Now you see it. Now you don't. Look at that. Boom. It's gone. There it is. It is a foam hamburger. That's pretty fun. It comes with a ring too. Look at this ring. A little small. Won't fit on my finger. But overall, this thing is pretty cool. Knickerbocker. Love it. Love Burger King toys. Love McDonald's toys. So this guy's going to look great in my collection. And again, it's from Knickerbocker. Love it. Would you pick this up or would you pass? 20 bucks. I think it's a pretty decent deal. Next items are something I couldn't pass up because when I saw these, I just envisioned putting some Universal Monsters on these. Now look at that. So I have Remco Monsters. I have AHI. I have Mego. I have the three and three quarter. I have some NECA figures. I have the Jada toys. So the possibilities are endless to display your figures with this. And these bases are from 1999 sideshow toys i couldn't pass them up i think they're pretty cool let me know how would you display them i definitely had some buyer's remorse not by purchasing by not purchasing i should have got that mr t should have got the earnest hey Vern. i should have got the punisher van can you believe it punisher van that's awesome they had some dune figures et i should have got that clock i definitely regret not getting that clock but what I did get was, from Lost in Space, the robot. There he is. I've been wanting to get robot in my collection for a while. Absolutely love it. This is a pretty cool figure. Ten bucks. And look at that. It's a pullback toy, too. That's pretty fun. Uh, I didn't even know that until I started uh, doing this video. But check it out. It's got some sounds in it, too. You hit those two buttons in the front. Listen. My sensors indicate an intruder is present. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. This figure is from 1997. This is New Line Production, Trendmasters Inc. And there is a button on the back. And what do you say? Let's check out the button, see what it does. Okay, for 10 bucks, he does have a arm that's not fully attached because that plastic kind of breaks off. You know what I mean, those little... Uh, it's, it's like a, an accordion there, but it does click right back in and stays in no problem. So it displays nice. Sure, it does have that issue, but for 10 bucks, 
I think it's a great deal. He also has some light effects, so let's shut off the light and check it out. My sensors indicate an intruder is present. So his body does twist and his hands do open, so he can hold something. Ow! <laughs> it didn't hurt, but that's pretty cool. So he is kind of like a poseable figure. His waist moves danger, around. He danger, does have that Robinson. button there. I'm not quite sure danger, what that changes, but maybe in time I'll figure it out. But overall, a very fun toy. There were definitely a lot of fun items at this show, a lot of great pickups, but this one is my favorite, and this is the Jupiter 2 from the Lost in Space TV series back in the 60s. I used to watch the rerun back in the 70s as a kid. I absolutely love it with the Robinson family. But here is the 1998 Trendmasters Jupiter 2. The paint does have a little discoloration in it. It probably was sitting in the sun on like half of it, you know how some of the plastics turn a little bit off color, but overall, not bad condition. Look at that, you can see perfectly through the windows, that's pretty neat. So you have all three landing gear, have some lights that go underneath there. The battery compartment was a little corroded, I used a little Dremel and cleaned that up. The landing gear does work, which is great. One of them has a little crack in it. I put a little super glue, so that fixed it up. This compartment opens, and the space pod's supposed to go in there. Unfortunately, it's not here. It's missing, but I wonder if it was in the bin where this was. I didn't I didn't know what it was supposed to come with, but let's listen to the sounds. That's pretty cool. Let's look inside and check out the living quarters. And that, my friends, looks awesome. So there is your sleeping quarters, those stand up. I think it's like a hibernation area where they have to hibernate when they're in space. Because it takes years, doesn't it, to get to one location? But here we have three figures. We'll take a look at the inside great great detail you can see where the robot stands so you can snap him into position and he's not going to move around which is pretty cool so when you're flying your ship around robots not going to go f flopping back and forth but there he is little great detail for a little figure right pretty cool he's not movable at all but looks great and here we have will will robinson Remember Dr. Smith always said that? Wheel, wheel. But yeah, he's posable. His hands move. His arms move. His legs move. Not his hands, but in his head moves. So it's pretty cool. Here we have Dr. Smith. Same thing. His legs move. His arms move. And his head moves. So that's pretty decent. So you can put him in a chair. Have him look around. Wave his arms in the air when he's screaming for Will. Will. And calling for the robot. Oh, man, the TV show was so much fun, wasn't it? Um, if you haven't watched the TV show, you got to check it out. It's pretty, pretty cool. But there's Will. Closer look. Not too bad, you know? At least uh, Will is not the same size as Dr. Smith. But let's put them in their chairs and we'll check them out. So the figures fit in the chairs pretty well. you got to straighten out Dr. Smith's leg and... So they go slide underneath the console. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. So we're going to put Robot in his spot. So when we're flying the ship, the robot's not smashing around inside there. Now as far as the figures, I think the figures should probably have like a little peg on the seat. So when you put them down, they're not going to flop around but other than that i mean this is a really really fun looking ship right let me know in the comments would you pick this up if you saw it again pay 20 bucks for this you know how much they sell online a hundred and up crazy i was shocked when i looked at 
the prices online after I purchase this. So for 20 bucks, that's a steal. Let's turn off the lights and check out the lights on the ship. We had a great time. How about you, R3? Did you have a good time? I too always has a good time. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. And R2, what are we? That's right, Geek Strong. Take care, everyone. I want to thank all the celebrity guests at the show. You were all so generous with your time. Very friendly, funny. I had a blast, I tell you. It's definitely a weekend I will never forget. So thank you, Howie Weed, John Morton, Eric Walker, Warren Prue Jr., Nikki Botello, Daniel Romero, and Rory Ross. Thank you, Dominic and Warren, for coming on Toys and Fitness with Dan, Super John, and I. We had a blast hanging out with you guys. And never forget that you are all Geek Strong. <laughs> Take care, everyone. If you want to check out the live stream with Warren and Dominic, click on that icon right there or click on this other video. Thanks for watching.